So, hello there everyone, my name is Daniel and today we're going to tie a small hoverfly. This is a fly that's intended for the Danish sea trout on the coastline to some of the, on, on some of these days here in the autumn where, where the, the wind is not that great but, but there still is a lot of, of trout surfacing and, and showing themselves. Then the, then the way you fish this is to cast it out and then strip it, re, retrieve it really, really slowly. So it's basically just hovering in the waves and the trout cannot uh, resist this fly then. So it will be great as well for still water uh, fishing in, in lakes because this basically can look like anything. It can look like food, it can look like a small gamma rose, it can look like you know a small nymph. It's just it just looks like food and, and the the wary trout on, on calm days here in the autumn where the fish maybe feed on, on smaller smaller uh, uh, food subjects will go for this one. It's one of my good friends Bo who has invented this and uh, well, his the pun on this is uh, his name actually means the liberator, kind of. So so I'm gonna call this the liberator, named after after the guy who invented it. Well, now we're gonna tie the fly. So here goes, now we're going to tie the liberator. Basically what this is, is, is a bit of, of, um, of a fly type that has been used for many, many, many years. Only, only it's a bit uh, more dressed. Um, for many years, there, there, and, and all the way back to when, when fly fishing and fly tying started, a lot of the old school English dudes who fished the chalk stream, they were using a, a certain type of flies that were called spiders. And spiders basically is, is small, uh, wet flies that are fished upstream to, to fish that, you know, are, are feeding on, uh, on, uh, on, on mayflies that are hatching. Um, so it's basically uh, the first type of emergers, and this is kind of like that, uh, only only a bit a, a bit bigger in scale because those only had one soft hackle. Uh, but but this is I think it's it's kind of the same thing here. Uh, so this really works well, uh, in particular in, uh, in 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 uh, yeah. Well, basically this can catch anything. It can it can work in streams, it can work in rivers, and it can work work on the coastline for the Danish sea trout. So the first thing we need to do is, is apply a bit of dubbing here in uh, the, the eye stop in the UV tan. Uh, and, and I've mounted a pink tying thread because this pinkish hue this will lend to the dubbing really, really suits the fly well. And is something that, uh, that Bo was very adamant about. So just a small amount of dubbing here. And also if, if we tie a small amount of dubbing back here, um, it, will, it will give these two hackles uh, and and the finished the finished fly a more complete look. So just a small amount of, of the dubbing here, and then we need to tie in the first tackle. Um, for this, I'm going to use partridge, and partridge is just an overall just an awesome awesome uh, make have some awesome awesome feathers. The markings on these are just yeah uh, really really cool. And uh, and if you can get your hands on on a full uh, full skin, then do that. Uh, they are quite hard to come by from time to time. Uh, but if you and if, if if that's not possible, then then simply buy you know a bag of loose feathers. But it is better to have a full a full cape or a full a partridge skin because you can you can choose either the both the the gray and the brown feathers will be there but you will also have all the different sizes of feathers so you can easily e easily change uh, the size that you need for for that particular size of hook or that particular pattern so i have taken two of the grayish feathers here and uh, just removed all the woolly part from the from from far down on the, uh, on the on the hackle stem and then I'm gonna fold everything backwards I'm gonna take the hackle here and I'm gonna tie it so it's on top of the hook uh, with the uh, with the shiny side pointing upwards because that will help give me the right uh, bend and the right curve in the, the that the feather have naturally to be backwards when I when I turn my uh, my hackle here and I'm gonna use my hackle plier and uh, I use the CF one it is the best one I have ever tried. So it is the best one in the known universe. <laughs> there is simply, there is no comparison. There is, there is this one and then there are all the others. It is simply just magnificent and, and just, 
it's just one of those tools where you just you're happy every single time you you pick it up because it just it just works and works and works and the world is a better place since this arrived in it <laughs> yeah 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 Stephen is laughing and looking a bit embarrassed behind the camera you're you're all right to do that so Stephen sorry, guys. yeah yeah that's how it is <laughs> so that was the first hackle here I uh, think this was no nah, it's okay it's okay it's gonna as as soon as as this has been in the water it's gonna get a bit mangled and look and look less you know like less less dense and this less thick this is one that I've been fishing with so now basically we take some more dubbing more of the uh, the uh, tan uh, UV ice dub again basically just add it to the thread here there we go And then I'm gonna move the dubbing here up along the hook. Chink. Towards the eye. Just loosely so so some of it can, can puff out a bit. And I take the other feather. I chose two of roughly the same size when uh, f for this fly when when I was picking it out and of course if you're going to tie more than these then pick out more uh, more hackles because that will save you time there we go and again this is one of these flies that can look like a small gamos it can look like something that's hatching it can look like basically it, it, it just looks like so many different things all at once so the trout just have to grab it Fold everything back while I turn. There we go. Tying down the hackle stem. And there we have it. Just gonna do a quick small wood finish. Cut away the tying thread and then apply some varnish or some sabagab. In this case I'm gonna use sabagab, which is basically the thing I always use. It's strong and it just makes your fly lasts a long, long time. There we go. The Liberator. Perfect for trout everywhere. <laughs> so, the Liberator done and ready for the fly box. Um, a fly that really works well for a lot of different things. This is deadly for trout in any size and any shape all around the world. And um, you can find the complete material kit to this fly and to all the other YouTube videos you find here on the channel. Um, my name is Daniel and it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I wish you all the best of luck out on the water. Thank you for watching.